and each generation is weaker. Your parents could have no blood sugar problems and you could and it'd still be genetics because they're just above that line. So uh, even type uh, 2, you want to eat fruits and vegetables. Now the neat thing about that is it'll control blood sugars and as you work on the adrenals and get the adrenals healthy, it's easy to get you in a position to where you no longer have blood sugar metabolism problems. So these are real easy to, to cure. Uh, if you want to use that word in terms of disease, it's not a disease. These are cells in your body that are not performing properly, either from their genetic consciousness or from your diet, which has backed up the lymph system. Now let's look at type 1 a minute because we're inundated with type 1s. They're on insulin pumps and all, and just it's just a, a huge problem that we face here. And there's two reasons for type 1. Type 1 is you're not producing enough insulin to help carry glucose across the cell wall. Now notice I said glucose. It is important to understand that each cell requires carbon and oxygen. Those are the two main constituents that every cell requires to be healthy. And carbon and oxygen is exactly what your car motor uses to run. In our body, when you mix carbon and oxygen together, it creates ATP adenosine triphosphate, essential for the health of the cell. So in diabetics, especially type 1, it is vital that you get a sugar, which is a carbon chain constituent, into that cell. Well, if you're not adequately producing enough uh, insulin, then you would want to, you would, you would, it makes sense to have a sugar that didn't require insulin, and there is one, and that's fruit sugar. All our diabetics type 1 goes on a fruit diet. You can show where you can go on an exclusively fruit diet, eat a salad, and your blood sugar will go up from the salad because you're not, uh, uh, you're not carrying that glucose into a cell. You have insulin uh, uh, production problems. So real serious with that. So you always want to be on fruits. At least you'll get ATP, even if you glucose load a little bit. Because when you break down your fat, you're going to glucose load a little bit. Ketones, this is fat breaking down. Same thing as acidosis. Put yourself on watermelon. Fast on watermelon. Clean these ketones out of you. This is all about detoxifying and regenerating the human body. Now, there was a couple of medical doctors in Canada that discovered that a lot of type 1 diabetes isn't a pancreatic weakness. Now, pancreatic, uh, your pancreas uh, has uh, what's called islets of longer hands and they have what's called the beta cells. And the beta cells is where you produce insulin. So when these beta cells are weak, of course, or when they're, they're not thinking properly, if you will, you know, genetics is cellular memories, and when you understand what that means and relationship to yourself, you understand that cells' functionability is determined by their genetics, and their, their, their memory patterns of the family trees. And you can change these genetic thinkings of cells. It's easy to regenerate genetics in the human body. And I think we discussed that a little bit, but maybe we will when we get into physics or we get into uh, electromagnetic energy and intelligence. Because it's real, uh, and it's an uplifting uh, uh, discussion on a much deeper aspect of how life works and how God works. Uh, much deeper than the world of chemistry. So understanding the pancreas uh, this time, not the, not the adrenal glands. However, these two medical doctors discovered that oftentimes type 1 is the nervous system in the pancreas it doesn't allow the beta cells to produce insulin. This is very important because I see many, many clients that have type 1 who have no pancreatic problems whatsoever. And then when I look deeper, I find they have a weak adrenal glands and they have a neurological problem. They found that these two medical doctors, they should have won a Nobel Peace Prize. This is instrumental in understanding not just the pancreas, but also kidney filtration of the lymph and so many other things because your nervous system is in every tissue and its ability to make that tissue function is vital. So the suppression of the neurological system, the autonomic system, can create hypofunctionings of cells and the hypoproducing or underproducing of hormones and steroids. And, and, and it's just on and on and on. It, it could be any aspect of the human body, from breathing, uh, like I've said previously, to hearts and the ability to open valves, etc., etc. 
So important to understand that the nervous system in the pancreas that controls the beta cell production of insulin is the autonomic nervous system and now we're back at the adrenal glands again which controls sugar metabolism but also controls the autonomic nervous system. Very important because if you're trying to work on type 1 and you're just going after the pancreas you could be unsuccessful. Your success is making all cells in the body healthy but you particularly always want to focus on kidney and adrenal glands because of the far-reaching aspects of lymph stagnation and acidosis and nerve suppression. Both of those things leads to cell in inactivity, cell damage, and, and, and on and on and on. All into the world of cancers and all the symptomologies that man uh, experiences. So, so far important to understand that. That the, a lot of times we are a neurological diabetic. I'll give you an example and this is an interesting case. A lady came in the other day, 50 years old and she had hurt her knee, her left knee, and she had had uh, a surgical repair of that and something went wrong, I don't know, but the surgeon had to operate three times on that left knee to get it back in shape again. Well, after the third surgery, she went into type 1 diabetes and she stopped menstruating. Now, this is very significant. Why? Why after the third surgery would she then have type 1 diabetes and she stopped menstruating and the answer was what I just led you up to. The answer is anesthesia is a neurotoxin. What it did is suppress the nervous system, the autonomic nervous system and she couldn't produce insulin properly anymore. She also suppressed her pituitary and couldn't menstruate, couldn't produce FSH. So this suppresses head to toe, even the central nervous system. Go back to Michael Jackson again. So we have to wake up to what neurotoxins are and they're everywhere. They're pesticides, herbicides, certain perfumes, uh, deodorizers for bathrooms. Uh, the list is long. Be careful. You could be eating a nice big salad in a restaurant and go into an anxiety attack and shortness of breath because you forgot to clean the pesticides off of these, uh, these vegetables. So the more sensitive you are neurologically, you will become very sensitive to these aspects. So when you're type 1, you want to always work on the kidney and adrenals. You always want to work on the lymphatic system, but you also can work on the pancreas. It's okay. Type 1 uh, di uh, diabetes should always be on fruit. Fruit, fruit, fruit. If you go up a little higher in blood sugar, just observe that. You'll probably glucose load for a while as you break down the fat in the body. And um, if you're having vegetables with fruit, you might see an upswing of, of glucose. But ultimately, you will see your glucose levels drop, and when, or your, uh, yeah, your blood uh, sugar levels drop. And when you do, you be careful what you're taking. If you're on insulin or macrophage or some type of, uh, of uh, hormone there for that, you must be very careful because it's easy to control blood sugars. Uh, and it's not too difficult after that to make the cells healthy again and not have that problem. Yes, type 1 is a more genetic problem, no question about it. You notice most people that have type 1 are younger. However, you, this one case of this 50-year-old shows you just that neurological compromising of the nervous system. So uh, be healthy. Use herbs to help with this. Uh, herbs are great at helping to improve the function of the adrenals, the kidneys, uh, the uh, pancreas. But uh, always keep your diet to fresh fruits and vegetables. If you have to have some cooked vegetables, okay. Stay away from protein. Stay definitely away from fats. When you have blood sugar problems, you never do starch. That's complex sugar. Starch is polysaccharides, meaning multiple sugars. Fruits and vegetables are mono sugars, simple sugars. You have to have a sugar. Can't starve your body for a sugar because when you damage cells, this is going to become more serious. Okay. So thank you and uh, um, stay tuned. We'll get into more problems as we go along here and more conditions that you have. And so thank you for staying tuned. Thanks.